Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to my TSM for Noobs series. This time we are going to be looking at crafting. This is another really useful feature of TSM and once you get it all set up it makes the whole crafting process so much easier. The first thing you want to do is set a tangible price for your Blood of Sargeras otherwise the add-on gets a bit confused and isn't so useful. So go on the crafting part of the interface as you can see look everything you've crafted shows up and all your daily cooldowns show up so you'll always be able to keep track that's pretty useful but go into materials click on blood of Sargeras and set a price so I set 500 gold that means that that's the minimum I want my bloods to be used for so yeah I'd set it for something similar to that but make sure you set it for something because I'll show you in a bit it will allow you to use TSM to its full potential now what you want to do is set a crafting operation to one of your groups so you should have made a sort of profession group TSM can do this for you or you can just make your own as we did before we go into operations go to crafting create new operation profession crafts call it something and there we go so it's a pretty simple interface basically it allows you to tell TSM the minimum profit you want to make for an item so it will queue all the items you can craft that give you at least 300 gold profit at least that's what I put you can change this to percentage of crafting cost or something like that but I'm going to keep it simple and do 300 gold profit. So the max restock quantity basically tells you how many of each item it's going to make. So when you queue your crafting and it finds everything that gives you 300 gold or more profit, it's going to be making three of each of those items. You can set it to whatever, I'll set it to three. The min restock quantity basically stops you from having to just craft one which can be a bit of a waste of time so this will only restock when I need two or more of an item to reach three so basically if I only have one of the item or zero it will craft if I have two of an item it won't craft so that's our operation made we are now going to go into our professions tab and see what's happening so on the professions tab if you go on to TSM groups it will show you the operation you just made you then press restock selected groups basically what this does is it found every thing I can make which is in the group which gives at least 300 gold profit and like I told it to make three of each so it's told me the mats I need to make three of each so pretty cool the estimated cost of all this is 62,000 gold and it's going to make me an 85,000 gold profit which is crazy I think that's mostly because of the enchanted pen is really weird priced at the moment so that probably won't sell but anyway this is the basic idea so once you've got this you just want to press gather you can check some of these options if you like but it's best to not bother start gathering and this little window will pop up all this window does is tells you what items you need to buy to create everything in your queue and where to get them from so like parchment it says I should get from the vendor it also does intermediate crafting so I need 46 arcana but I'm going to just get that from Leylight shards rather than arcana because it's cheaper it works out how much it is so that's useful and then I need all of these from the auction house now all you do is go to the auction house go onto the shopping tab and press buy items it will then scan the auction house for the first item which is the large prismatic shards I need 15 large prismatic shards so when it loads I will buy 15 so as you can see it's actually searched for 
all the items that would disenchant into large prismatic shards, which is clever. But if that disenchants, it's going to cost, see, 200 gold, 140. You just look at the percent price, and just buying them on their own is cheaper. So there we go, 15 bought. It will then scan the auction house again for the next item. So what do we need? Primal mana times 10. Again, look, it's found motes of mana, which you can turn into primal mana. So I'll buy them. And then I will buy some primal mana. So I didn't get the dawn lights because they're ridiculously priced at the moment. But for everything else, I got, and then all you have to do is press craft next, and it will start crafting everything that you queued. And there you go guys, everything has been crafted, you can then go and sell it on the auction house. As for the profession frame itself, it's pretty cool, it still tells you the rank of each thing. If you mouse over it, and when you click on it, it will tell you exactly the match you need. And up here you can sort by crafting cost, it will tell you how much it costs to make each item based on your realm's current prices, the item value and then the profit which I like so you can easily see what profit can be made from each of your profession items. That's it guys, hope you found it useful, until next time, see ya!